Do you know about the most exceptional scientists from your country? We're about to reveal the top 100 scientists of all time. Let's discover how many of them hail from your country. Each one of these scientists has a special story of discovering new things and making the world a better place. Their stories are full of curiosity, discovery, and making history. Please feel free to utilize chapter section of this video, if you are keen on learning about the top scientists from your respective country only. This video contains scientists from number 46 to 75. Please refer to part 1 and part 2 on our channel to explore scientists numbered 1 to 45 from countries beginning with the letters A to H. Scientist number 46 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From India, we have selected four exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary on our list is Aryabhata. Aryabhata, a mathematical and astronomical prodigy, left a lasting legacy despite the scarcity of surviving writings from his time. His seminal work, the Aryabhatiya, composed when he was in his early twenties, stands as a testament to his brilliance in both mathematics and astronomy. While much of his work followed geocentric principles, his assertion of the Earth's daily rotation and the reflection of light on celestial bodies proved prescient. Despite the loss of many of his writings, references, translations, and citations attest to his significant contributions. Aryabhata's influence extended across Asia and played a pivotal role in shaping the Islamic Golden Age. Scholars such as Brahmagupta, Bhaskaracharya II, al khwarizmi and Al-Biruni drew upon his methodologies in various fields including astronomy, trigonometry, geometry, arithmetic, and algebra. Many modern trigonometric functions owe their origins to terminologies he introduced. In recognition of his contributions, numerous tributes have been dedicated to Aryabhata. The lunar impact crater Aryabhata, measuring 22 kilometers in diameter, honors his memory, as does India's Research Institute of Observational Sciences. Additionally, India's first satellite, launched aboard Cosmos 3M in 1975, bears his name. Scientist number 47 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from India on our list is Brahmagupta. Brahmagupta, renowned as the preeminent mathematician of his time, made significant strides in astronomy and trigonometry, particularly in the calculation of celestial positions. He was a trailblazer in introducing symbolic expressions in his treatises on geometry, arithmetic, and algebra, independent of Diophantus' earlier work. While many of his writings have been lost, those that remain highlight his fascination with quadrilaterals, leading to several contemporary theorems bearing his name, including the formula for the area of a cyclic quadrilateral. His most notable contribution, alongside luminaries like Liu Wei and Zhang Kang, was the depiction of decimals, zero, and negative numbers as essential mathematical entities in his work, Brahmasvata Siddhanta. A century after his death, his astronomical treatise was translated into Arabic by the astronomer Muhammad al-Fazari, preserving his insights for future generations. This translation influenced scholars like Muhammad al-Khwarizmi, who utilized Brahmagupta's ideas to develop further mathematical concepts, leading to the dissemination of Indian arithmetic through al-Khwarizmi's work, Al-Jam Wal Tafriq by Hassal Al-Hind, later translated into Latin as Algorithmi de Numero Indorum, and widely circulated in Europe. Brahmagupta's contribution to the spread of the decimal system remains a testament to his mathematical prowess. Despite his renown in mathematics, Brahmagupta's expertise in astronomy is equally impressive. His exegesis, Khandahadyaka, beautifully complements Aryabhata's work, Ardharatri Kapaksa, demonstrating his depth of knowledge in both fields. Numerous mathematical concepts bear his name, underscoring his enduring influence on mathematics and astronomy alike. Scientist number 48 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The third luminary from India on our list is Madhava of Sangamagrama. Madhava, a visionary scholar, made profound contributions to mathematics and astronomy during his era. He not only built upon the works of his predecessors but also laid the groundwork for future scholars by establishing the renowned Kerala School of Astronomy and Mathematics in Kerala, India. This institution, celebrated for centuries, rivaled and often exceeded many esteemed European universities in both mathematical and astronomical achievements. Madhava's most notable achievement lies in the advancement of infinite series during the 14th century, a breakthrough that revolutionized mathematics. He expanded trigonometric functions and is credited with discovering what is now known as the Madhava series, 
recognized by Europeans as the Leibniz series, predating Gottfried von Leibniz by 250 years. Additionally, Madhava made significant contributions to algebra and geometry, refining Bhaskara II's works and laying the groundwork for preliminary calculus. While none of Madhava's original mathematical treatises have survived, references and citations from his successors offer valuable insights into his contributions. It is evident that many discoveries credited to later European mathematicians, such as James Gregory and Colin Maclaurin, were already known to Madhava. In astronomy, Madhava's surviving monographs, such as Venvaro and Chandravakyani, focused on the trajectories of planets and their moons. Through the Kerala school, he exerted a posthumous influence on several generations of scholars, including esteemed researchers like Parameshvara Nambudiri and Nilakantha Somayaji. Madhava's immense contributions and lasting influence firmly establish him as one of the greatest mathematical astronomers in history. Scientist number 49 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fourth luminary from India on our list is Srinivasa Ramanujan. Ramanujan, widely regarded as the greatest mathematical genius in human history, astounded the world with his unparalleled mathematical abilities. Remarkably, as a teenager, he delved into advanced mathematics independently, without formal tutoring or a prescribed syllabus. His extraordinary contributions spanned various fields, including analysis and number theory, revolutionizing 20th century mathematics. Initially unknown, Ramanujan's talents drew the attention of Godfrey Hardy, the Sadlerian professor of mathematics at Cambridge, who became his mentor. Hardy was astonished to discover that Ramanujan, largely self-taught, had independently rediscovered numerous known theorems, unaware of their prior existence. To establish his originality, Ramanujan produced a multitude of groundbreaking works, solving previously unsolvable problems and introducing thousands of new equations and identities. Despite his tragically short life of only 32 years, Ramanujan's legacy looms large, with his vast body of work continuing to inspire and challenge mathematicians for centuries. His theorems were so profound that proving just one of them could elevate a professor to fame. John Littlewood, a distinguished Cambridge professor, marveled at Ramanujan's brilliance, declaring that every positive integer is among Ramanujan's personal friends. Their correspondence revealed the depth of Ramanujan's genius, with Hardy describing his letters as the most remarkable he had ever received and admitting that Ramanujan's theorems often confounded him. Ramanujan attributed his exceptional intellect and achievements to divine inspiration, believing that equations held meaning only if they expressed the thoughts of God. In essence, Srinivasa Ramanujan's unparalleled mathematical prowess and extraordinary accomplishments continue to inspire awe and reverence in the world of mathematics. Scientist number 50 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Iran, we have selected four exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary on our list is Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi. Muhammad al-Khwarizmi, a Persian scholar, profoundly influenced European civilization with his advancements in mathematics long before the era of European colonization. Renowned for his exceptional mathematical prowess, he revolutionized various fields, including Hari quadrants, trigonometric tables, and the introduction of the Hindu decimal system to Europe. His surname, Al-Khwarizmi, gave rise to the term, algorithm, highlighting the extent of his influence. Al-Khwarizmi's seminal work, Al-Jab, known in full as, Al-Khattab al-Muqtasar fi Hasab al-Jab wal Muqabala, became the cornerstone of algebra, earning him the title of the father of modern algebra. His contributions were instrumental during the Islamic Golden Age, a period of enlightenment that preceded the European Renaissance by half a millennium. As an inspirational author and mentor, Al-Khwarizmi played a pivotal role in advancing mathematical knowledge in medieval Europe. His works influenced prominent mathematicians such as Abu Kamil ibn Aslam Shuja, who applied irrational numbers to equations, and Leonardo Fibonacci, known for popularizing Asian mathematical methods in Europe which Al-Khwarizmi had translated, improved, and preserved. Although Al-Khwarizmi's reputation primarily rests on his mathematical achievements, he also made significant contributions to astronomy, geography, and other sciences. Honors such as the 11,156 Al-Khwarizmi asteroid and the 56-kilometer wide Al-Khwarizmi lunar crater commemorate his legacy, along with numerous concepts, awards, and research centers named in his honor. Scientist number 51 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. 
The second luminary from Iran on our list is Abu Rehan al-Biruni. Abu Rehan al-Biruni, an extraordinarily ingenious and versatile scholar, stands as one of the greatest scientists of the Middle Ages, leaving an indelible mark across various disciplines including mathematics, astronomy, philosophy, linguistics, medicine, and pharmacy. While his exploration in medicine and pharmacy complemented the work of his Persian contemporary Avicenna, his primary focus remained on mathematics, mechanics, and astronomy, with nearly two-thirds of his attributed 150 pamphlets dedicated to these subjects. As a polymath, Al-Biruni's brilliance extended beyond scientific realms, enabling him to invent horological and hydrostatic tools and compile some of the earliest known encyclopedias spanning astronomy, biology, pharmacology, geology, and sociology. In astronomy, he pioneered methods for using lunar eclipses and longitudinal observations to calculate the Earth's radius and was among the first to apply the law of signs to solve astronomical problems. His vast publications, which purportedly included 12,000 tracts, furthered the works of Archimedes, particularly in elementary algebra, arithmetic, and geometry, while also contributing significantly to the early development of Earth sciences, particularly geodesy. Al-Biruni's meticulous measurements and inventions, including tools for accurately gauging the specific gravity of metals and minerals, attest to his wide-ranging intellect and practical contributions to scientific knowledge. Despite the loss of many of his publications, those that survive offer valuable insights into his sagacity and the breadth of his research. Translated into major languages, these surviving works continue to be studied and admired across continents. In recognition of his intellectual contributions, numerous honors bear his name, including the 77-kilometer-wide Al-Biruni lunar crater and the 9,936 Al-Biruni asteroid, serving as enduring tributes to his enduring legacy. Scientist number 52 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The third luminary from Iran on our list is Avicenna of Persia, Ibn Sina. Avicenna, revered as an iconic physician and pioneer of modern medicine, remains one of history's most celebrated scholars. While commonly known by the westernized name, Avicenna, his true surname is Ibn Sina. As a polymath, he made significant contributions across diverse fields including mathematics, astronomy, alchemy, geology, philosophy, theology, and literature, showcasing his wide-ranging intellect. His correspondences with mentors like Abu Rehan al-Biruni and protégés such as Ahmad ibn al-Masumi provide valuable insights into the collaborative nature of scholarship during his era. Regrettably, half of the nearly 500 publications attributed to him did not survive the tumultuous events of the past millennium, including wars and upheavals. Among Avicenna's most renowned works is, The Canon of Medicine, an exhaustive clinical encyclopedia that remained a standard university text worldwide for over five centuries after his death. Another significant text, The Book of Healing, was widely imported, translated, and utilized across Europe under the Latin name, Sufficientia, for several decades. Avicenna's influence transcended generations, with his methods continuing to be learned and practiced globally well into the 19th century. Only with the advent of modern evidence-based medicine in the 20th century did his approaches begin to decline in favor of more intrusive research practices. In recognition of his enduring legacy, numerous honors bear his name, including the 2755 Avicenna asteroid, the 74-kilometer-wide Avicenna lunar crater, and Avicenna Bay in the Palmer Archipelago of Antarctica, serving as lasting tributes to his contributions to human knowledge and understanding. Scientist number 53 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fourth luminary from Iran on our list is Nasir al-Din al-Tusi. Nasir al-Din al-Tusi, esteemed as one of the greatest intellectuals of the Islamic Golden Age, possessed remarkable astuteness, versatility, and improvisational skills across various disciplines. Recognized as a jack of all trades and master of all, he made significant contributions to both the arts and sciences. Al-Tusi's groundbreaking work in mathematics and astronomy established him as the first to demonstrate the independence of trigonometry from astronomy. His treatise on the quadrilateral introduced spherical trigonometry in a revolutionary manner, earning him the title of the father of trigonometry. He devised the renowned Tusi couple, a geometrical innovation that replaced Ptolemy Equant and revolutionized planetary motion studies, providing crucial insights later utilized by Copernicus in his investigations of astrophysics. Beyond astronomy, Al-Tusi's research delved into biology, pioneering early studies in genetics and taxonomy. 
He categorized living organisms into plants, animals, and humans, showcasing his breadth of scientific inquiry. Inspired by the works of Avicenna, Al-Tusi's tireless research spanned mathematics, medicine, chemistry, and physics, laying the groundwork for the Renaissance and subsequent centuries of discoveries. Notably, Al-Tusi's assertion that a body of matter cannot disappear completely anticipates the modern law of conservation of mass, underscoring his prescience in scientific principles. In recognition of his extraordinary achievements, honors such as the 60-kilometer-wide Nasseredine lunar crater and the 10,269 Tusi minor planet serve as enduring tributes to his enduring legacy and profound impact on human knowledge and understanding. Scientist number 54 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Iraq, we have selected two exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary on our list is Abu Yusuf al-Kindi. Abu Yusuf al-Kindi, a remarkable polymath of the Islamic Golden Age, stands as one of history's most versatile scholars, excelling across a multitude of disciplines from arts and sciences to commerce and administration. His prolific contributions left indelible marks in fields as diverse as medicine, mathematics, statistics, optics, ethics, logic, astronomy, agriculture, literature, cryptography, philosophy, theology, geology, meteorology, linguistics, and even music, encompassing over 300 treatises. Ranked behind only Al-Khwarizmi and Ibn Aslam Shuja, Al-Kindi played a pivotal role in disseminating Indo-Arabic numerals throughout the Arabian Peninsula, Persia, and beyond. He was a trailblazer in statistics, showcasing its analytical power centuries before its wider recognition by scholars like Girolamo Cardana and Christian Huygens. His groundbreaking works from cryptography were centuries ahead of their time, remaining influential until the era of European successors such as Blaise Pascal, Gottfried Leibniz, Charles Babbage, Ada Lovelace, John von Neumann, and Alan Turing. Al-Kindi's influence extended to optics, with Alhazen, often referred to as the father of optics, learning from his introductory work on optics, known as De Radii Stellarum, in Latin. Although the majority of Al-Kindi's original publications have been lost, translated versions and references by subsequent scholars provide insights into his vast contributions. Some of his surviving English translations include the Manuscript on Deciphering Cryptographic Messages, the Treatise on the Judgment of Eclipses, and the Book of Chemistry of Perfumes and Distillations. Despite the loss of much of his original work, Al-Kindi's enduring legacy continues to inspire and influence scholars across diverse fields of study. Scientist number 55 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary on our list is Alhazen ibn al-Haytham. Alhazen ibn al-Haytham, a superb polymath and illustrious pace-setter, illuminated the paths of scholars who followed him, earning admiration as an ingenious icon across the Islamic world. Despite being nicknamed Ptolemaeus Secundus by medieval scholars, implying a comparison to Claudius Ptolemy, Alhazen surpassed him in every aspect of science and mathematics. His extensive works encompassed a wide range of disciplines including mathematics, physics, and philosophy, influencing prominent European scientists such as Roger Bacon, Riggio Montanus, Nicolaus Copernicus, Johannes Kepler, and Isaac Newton. Irrefutably the greatest and most influential scientist of the Middle Ages, Alhazen's Book of Optics was hailed as the most important work on mathematical physics before Newton's Principia Mathematica emerged centuries later. He made significant contributions to astronomy, geometry, algebra, and arithmetic, with his ideas borrowed by notable figures including Galileo Galilei, Marin Mersenne, René Descartes, Omar Khayyam, and his protégé Abu al-Fath al-Khazini. As an engineer, Alhazen was entrusted with the task of remedying the overflowing river Nile during the reign of Al-Hakim by Amr Allah, showcasing his practical skills alongside his intellectual pursuits. While many of his works were lost over time, surviving texts reveal his explorations in diverse fields such as theology, literature, agriculture, geodesy, mechanics, and medicine. In recognition of his contributions to science, both the 32-kilometer-wide Alhazen lunar crater and the 59,239 Alhazen asteroid were dedicated to him. Additionally, in 2015, commemorating his 1,050th birth anniversary, UNESCO honored him as the father of optics, further cementing his legacy as one of history's most influential thinkers and scholars.
Scientist number 56 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Ireland, we have selected one exceptional scientist to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The only luminary on our list is Robert Boyle. Robert Boyle emerged as one of the pioneering figures to transition from alchemy to modern chemistry, driven by his fervent enthusiasm for scientific inquiry. Recognizing the greater interest in scientific experiments in 17th century England compared to Ireland, Boyle relocated to England, where he became one of the most prolific experimenters of his time, preceding notable figures like Antoine Lavoisier and Michael Faraday. Alongside John Wilkins, Alexander Bruce, and Christopher Wren, he played a pivotal role in founding the London Royal Society, contributing to the establishment of modern scientific principles. Boyle's expansive exploration across all branches of natural philosophy laid the groundwork for modern science, influencing contemporaries like Thomas Sydenham and Isaac Barrow, as well as his laboratory assistant Robert Hooke, who later formulated Hooke's law of elasticity. His mentorship also extended to Ambrose Godfrey Hankwitz, an industrial chemist credited with inventing the fire extinguisher. In addition to his renowned gas law experiments, Boyle conducted research in waves, optics, acoustics, hydrostatics, magnetism, and compound analysis, aligning with the corpuscularianism philosophy embraced by René Descartes and Isaac Newton. Although Boyle had an interest in biology and dedicated years to studying anatomy and physiology, he limited his experimentation to physiology, avoiding vivisections and dissections due to personal aversions. Throughout his life, Boyle engaged in intermittent philosophical and theological inquiries, reflected in his personal notes. His enduring contributions to science are honored through tributes such as the 57-kilometer-wide Boyle Lunar Crater and the 11,967 Boyle Planetoid, serving as testaments to his lasting impact on the field of chemistry and scientific inquiry as a whole. Scientist number 57 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Italy, we have selected seven exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary on our list is Girolamo Cardano. Girolamo Cardano, one of the most versatile scientists of the Renaissance period, distinguished himself as a jack of all trades and master of all, making pioneering contributions to mathematics, physics, chemistry, and biology, inspiring generations of researchers in the process. His foundational work in algebra, arithmetic, and geometry laid the groundwork for future mathematicians, while his establishment of probability theory and the binomial theorem provided essential frameworks for Pierre de Fermat, Blaise Pascal, Isaac Newton, Gottfried Leibniz, and the Bernoulli brothers to build upon. Cardano's recognition of the utility of negative numbers, notably in his exploration of cubic and quartic equations, marked him as a visionary in mathematics. As a polymath, he applied his extensive scientific knowledge to innovate early combination locks, demonstrating his ingenuity in engineering. His keen interest in biology led him to practice medicine, where he conducted groundbreaking research on typhoid fever, despite lacking a medical license. His contributions to medicine were esteemed, earning him admission to the Royal College of Physicians. Delving into alchemy and the precursors of modern chemistry, Cardano's diverse interests extended to physics, particularly in astronomy, where he also excelled as an equipment maker, designing gadgets like gimbals and propeller shafts, known as Cardan shafts in his honor. Among his 200-plus treatises, De Proportionibus, published in 1570, focused on hypocycloids, showcasing his mathematical prowess. In a strange turn of events, Girolamo Cardano reportedly predicted his own death by suicide. Despite this tragic end, his enduring contributions are commemorated by the 50-kilometer-wide Cardanus lunar crater, serving as a testament to his remarkable legacy in the annals of science. Scientist number 58 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from Italy on our list is Galileo Galilei. Galileo Galilei, widely acclaimed as the father of modern science, revolutionized the fields of mathematics and physics, challenging prevailing myths with empirical facts despite facing opposition from the Catholic Church. His steadfast commitment to truth and evidence ushered in an era of scientific scrutiny, research, and candor, setting a precedent for future scientists. Galileo's influence extended beyond his own time, inspiring a young Isaac Newton who revered him and adopted his investigative methodologies. Newton famously acknowledged Galileo as the giant on whose shoulders he stood to see farther. In addition to defending scientific truths at great personal risk, 
Galileo made enduring contributions to astronomy and mechanics, conclusively proving the uniform acceleration of falling bodies and inventing the water thermoscope, a precursor to the thermometer. His pioneering work with magnifiers led to the coining of the term microscope in 1625 by Giovanni Faber, while Christian Huygens developed the pendulum clock after studying Galileo's works. Even centuries later, Albert Einstein praised Galileo and Newton for indirectly influencing the concept of relativity. Galileo's legacy is rooted in his commitment to probity, emphasizing careful observation, meticulous experimentation, and rigorous analysis as the foundation of scientific inquiry. Numerous honors, including a spacecraft, an asteroid, four Jupiter moons, and the 16-kilometer-wide Galilei lunar crater, commemorate his contributions to science. Among his protégés is Vincenzo Viviani, who influenced Isaac Barrow, Cambridge's inaugural Lucasian professor of mathematics, and mentored Isaac Newton, highlighting Galileo's enduring impact on future generations of scientists. Scientist number 59 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The third luminary from Italy on our list is Joseph Louis Lagrange. Joseph Louis Lagrange, born Giuseppe Lodovico Lagrange in Turin, Italy, but later adopting the French version of his name, emerged as a prime mover in mathematics and physics during the 18th century. Initially trained in law, Lagrange developed a profound interest in mathematics, becoming largely self-taught and displaying exceptional proficiency from a young age. At the age of 19, he was appointed as a tutor, marking the beginning of his illustrious career. Lagrange's expertise spanned number theory, analysis, and rational mechanics, earning him recognition from luminaries such as Leonard Euler, his academic advisor, and Jean La Ronde d'Alembert, his mentor. Upon Euler's recommendation, Lagrange succeeded him as the math director of the Berlin Academy of Sciences in 1766, where he spent the next two decades producing groundbreaking works in mathematics and mathematical physics. Returning to France in 1787, Lagrange joined the Paris Academy of Sciences and published his influential masterpiece, Mécanique Analytique, in 1788, written during his time in Berlin. This seminal work transformed both classical and celestial mechanics, solidifying Lagrange's reputation as a leading figure in the field. His other acclaimed treatises, including Theory des Functions Analytiques and Resolution des Equations Numériques, further underscored his profound contributions to mathematics. As a professor at the École Polytechnique Paris, established in 1794, Lagrange continued his research, particularly in calculus of variations, where he consolidated the variation of parameters. He also devised innovative applications of differential calculus to solve problems in the theory of probabilities. Lagrange's legacy as one of the preeminent mathematicians of the 18th century is undeniable, with few peers matching his brilliance and influence. Among his contemporaries, only Leonard Euler surpassed Lagrange in shaping the mathematical landscape of the era, cementing Lagrange's place in the annals of mathematical history. Scientist number 60 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fourth luminary from Italy on our list is Luigi Galvani. Luigi Galvani, though not the inventor of the electric battery, played a pivotal role in its development, earning him recognition as one of the most influential figures of the 18th century. Inadvertently, on November 6, 1787, Galvani observed the generation of electricity when different metals were connected to the muscles of a dead frog. While he misinterpreted the phenomenon, attributing it to the frog itself, his observations provided crucial insights that paved the way for Alessandro Volta to correct the misconception and conceive the idea of batteries. Galvani's experiments with dead frog tissues led to the invention of the frog galvanoscope, laying the foundation for the modern galvanometer, an instrument used to detect electric current. His significant contributions earned him the eponyms of galvanization and other related terms, underscoring his profound influence on the development of electricity. Although renowned as a distinguished professor of surgery and anatomy, Galvani's experimentation with animal electricity remained a lifelong pursuit. His notable publications, including De Viribus Electricitatis in Motu Musculari Commentarius and Memori Sulla Electricita Animal, further solidified his legacy in the field. In recognition of his contributions, numerous honors bear his name, including the Galvani Potential, the Luigi Galvani Medal awarded by the Italian Chemical Society, the 10184 Galvani Asteroid, and the 80-kilometer-wide Galvani Lunar Crater, commemorating his enduring impact on science and technology.
Scientist number 61 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The fifth luminary from Italy on our list is Alessandro Volta. Alessandro Volta's legacy as a pioneering experimenter is rooted in his ability to capitalize on opportunities and decipher phenomena that eluded others. His fame largely stems from his groundbreaking insights into electricity, contrasting with the misinterpretations of his compatriot, Luigi Galvani. Galvani's observation of electricity generated by connecting different metals to the muscles of a dead frog initially led to misconceptions about animal-generated current. However, Volta astutely recognized the electrolytic nature of the phenomenon, attributing it to the interaction between electrodes, metals, and electrolytes, aqueous substances and tissues. Volta's experiments, including replicating the process without animal tissues and using brine as an electrolyte, revealed crucial insights. He identified silver and zinc as effective electrodes for electrolysis, leading to the development of the first electrical cell, known then as the voltaic cell and today as the battery. The significance of Volta's invention cannot be overstated, with batteries becoming indispensable in modern technology, from cars to cell phones. Despite his pioneering contributions to electricity, Volta's other accomplishments, such as identifying and isolating methane, are often overshadowed. Impressed by his achievements, Napoleon Bonaparte conferred upon Volta the titles of Count and Senator of Lombardy. Numerous honors, including the 8208 Volta asteroid and the 123-kilometer wide Volta lunar crater, commemorate his enduring legacy in the scientific community. Scientist number 62 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The sixth luminary from Italy on our list is Amadeo Avogadro. Amadeo Avogadro, a distinguished physics professor, passed away just one day before Nikola Tesla's birth, on the eve of his 80th birthday. Like many great scientists, Avogadro initially pursued studies in religion and law before finding his calling in science. Building upon the works of his predecessors, including Joseph Louis Gay Lussac and John Dalton, Avogadro made significant contributions to molecular theory. Avogadro's renowned hypothesis, sometimes referred to as a law, revolutionized the field of physical chemistry by distinguishing between atoms and molecules, a distinction often blurred in his time. His insights into equal volumes of gases containing equal numbers of molecules laid the groundwork for modern particle physics. Despite initial lack of interest from his contemporaries, André-Marie Ampère's rediscovery of Avogadro's work prompted a re-evaluation of his contributions. Subsequent experiments in organic chemistry by Auguste Laurent and Charles Frederick Gerhardt provided empirical support for Avogadro's hypothesis. It wasn't until Stanislao Cannizzaro's detailed exposition in 1860 that Avogadro's research gained widespread recognition. His insights not only aided in determining atomic and molecular masses but also reconciled conflicting theories proposed by Dalton and Gay Lussac. Avogadro's profound impact on molecular theory is commemorated by the Avogadrite mineral and the 139-kilometer-wide Avogadro lunar crater, honoring his enduring legacy as a pioneer in the field of chemistry and physics. Scientist number 63 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The seventh luminary on our list is Enrico Fermi. Enrico Fermi's journey from indecision as an undergraduate to becoming one of the greatest physicists of the 20th century is nothing short of remarkable. Initially drawn to mathematics before transitioning to physics, he received guidance from luminaries such as Luigi Puccianti, Max Born, and Paul Ehrenfest. Fermi's brilliance manifested in both theoretical insights and practical experiments, spanning areas such as spectroscopy, statistical mechanics, and electrodynamics. Building on Wolfgang Pauli's suggestion of an electrically neutral subatomic particle with negligible mass, Fermi expanded this concept, coining the term, neutrino, and formulating Fermi's theory of beta decay. His groundbreaking experiments on atomic nuclei led to the discovery of, slow neutrons, demonstrating that many elements undergo nuclear transformations when bombarded with neutrons. This discovery paved the way for Otto Hahn's research on nuclear fission and facilitated the accurate identification of missing elements in the periodic table. Fermi's pivotal role in scientific advancements led to his involvement in the Manhattan Project, where he supervised groundbreaking research. His achievements earned him numerous accolades, including the 1938 Nobel Prize in Physics. Additionally, he is commemorated through terms such as fermions, Fermi paradox, and the Fermi Award the highest honor bestowed by the USA Atomic Energy Commission.
scientist number 64 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Japan, we have selected one exceptional scientist to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The only luminary on our list is Seiki Koa Takakazu. Seiki Koa Takakazu, often hailed as Japan's greatest mathematician and likened to Isaac Newton, made indelible contributions during the Tokugawa Shogunate, Japan's feudal era from 1603 to 1868. Despite being a scion of samurai lineage, he embodied humility and courtesy alongside his prodigious mathematical talents. Renowned for reinventing Wasan, traditional Japanese mathematics, Seiki Koa Takakazu developed Enri, Japan's equivalent of calculus, before the ascendancy of European mathematical methods. Remarkably, he worked independently on problems similar to those tackled by luminaries like Isaac Newton, Gottfried Leibniz, and the Bernoullis, albeit far removed from the European intellectual milieu. His expertise spanned mathematical astronomy, trigonometry, geometry, and algebra, with notable contributions to each field. Seiki Koa Takakazu's influential publication, Hatsubi Sampo, provided rigorous solutions and proofs for various mathematical problems, showcasing his meticulous approach. Beyond his scholarly endeavors, he dedicated himself to education, using Chinese and Japanese textbooks to impart mathematical and astronomical knowledge to students like Takebi Kenko. Today, Seiki Koa Takakazu is revered in Japan, and his magnificent works continue to inspire mathematicians worldwide. The 18-kilometer wide 7483 Sekitakakazu asteroid stands as a tribute to his enduring legacy and profound impact on mathematics. Scientist number 65 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Netherlands, we have selected three exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary on our list is Christian Huygens. Christian Huygens, an eminent 17th-century scholar, made profound contributions to mathematics, physics, and philosophy. His intellectual pursuits led him to correspond with luminaries such as Pierre de Fermat, Blaise Pascal, and René Descartes, and to teach mathematics to a young Gottfried von Leibniz. Inspired by Galileo's works, Huygens constructed the first pendulum clock, a marvel of precision that remained the standard timekeeping device for nearly three centuries. Additionally, he independently developed the balance spring watch, showcasing his ingenuity in horology. In the realm of optics, Huygens proposed his wave theory of light, which was well received by the Paris Science Academy. His proficiency as a lens maker facilitated exchanges of ideas with Baruch Spinoza and Antony van Leeuwenhoek. With his telescope, he conducted groundbreaking observations of Mars and Saturn, including the discovery of Saturn's rings and its largest moon, Titan. Huygens' mathematical contributions spanned geometry, algebra, statistics, and applied mathematics. He conducted research on the motion of objects, collisions, and gravity, becoming the first European to formulate mathematical equations to express physical laws. Despite his relatively modest publication output, Huygens authored the first European book on probability theory, drawing from his interactions with Fermat and Pascal. His writings also delved into astronomy and optics. To honor his enduring legacy, several astronomical features bear his name, including the Huygens Martian Crater, Mons Huygens Lunar Mountain, and the Huygens Asteroid. Scientist number 66 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from Netherlands on our list is Antony van Leeuwenhoek. Antony van Leeuwenhoek, much like Michael Faraday, began his career with limited formal education, working as an artisan crafting lenses. Over time, his lens-making business evolved, leading him to become a pioneering research scientist. Initially crafting lenses primarily for telescopes and reading magnifiers, van Leeuwenhoek eventually turned his attention to amateur scientific investigations, his rudimentary microscopes, estimated to have magnifying powers between 200x and 300x, enabled Van Leeuwenhoek to make groundbreaking observations of microorganisms, which he termed, animacules. These discoveries earned him the titles of the first microbiologist and the father of microbiology. Despite the simplicity of his instruments, they provided him with unprecedented access to the microbial world, allowing him to study a wide range of cells, from simple unicellular spermatozoa to complex multicellular organisms like mussels, fungi, and arthropods. Van Leeuwenhoek meticulously documented his findings, often sharing them in letters with the London Royal Society. 
Despite his lack of formal education, the significance of his work led the Royal Society to translate his writings from his native Dutch into Latin and English for publication. His discoveries brought him widespread fame, attracting the attention of esteemed figures such as Gottfried Leibniz, Tsar Peter the Great of Russia, and the co-monarchs of Britain, William III and Queen Mary II. In recognition of his contributions, Van Leeuwenhoek has been honored with numerous accolades, including the Leeuwenhoek Medal from the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences, the naming of the bacterial genus Leeuwenhoekiella, and the dedication of astronomical features such as the 2766 Leeuwenhoek asteroid and the 125-kilometer wide Leeuwenhoek lunar crater. Scientist number 67 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The third luminary from Netherlands on our list is Hendrik Antoon Lorentz. Hendrik Antoon Lorentz, one of the most prominent physicists of the late 19th and early 20th centuries, faced adversity early in life with the loss of his mother before the age of 10. Despite this hardship, Lorentz persevered, focusing on his studies and demonstrating excellence in both arts and sciences. His academic journey culminated in his appointment as a professor of theoretical physics at the young age of 24, marking the inaugural chair at Leiden University, his alma mater. In his professorial role, Lorentz wasted no time in establishing himself as a leading figure in the field. Buoyed by early encouragement from mentors such as Peter Reka, his doctoral supervisor, and Frederick Kaiser, his astronomy professor. Spanning disciplines from hydrodynamics to electrodynamics, and from general relativity to quantum mechanics, Lorentz's scholarly pursuits left no corner of mathematical physics unexplored. He collaborated extensively with colleagues and mentored a growing cohort of protégés, providing theoretical frameworks that shaped the work of generations of researchers. Lorentz's contributions to physics were profound and far-reaching. He played a pivotal role in the discovery of the Zeeman effect, for which he and his former student Peter Zeeman were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1902. Additionally, Lorentz made significant contributions to Einstein's theory of relativity, Hippolyte Fizeau's Fizeau experiment, and numerous other landmark studies. Renowned for his influence and leadership in the scientific community, Lorentz chaired the first Solvay Conference in 1911, a gathering of eminent physicists that proved pivotal in advancing the understanding of quantum theory and atomic structure. Later, he presided over the International Committee on Intellectual Cooperation, a precursor to UNESCO, from 1925 to 1928. In recognition of his monumental contributions to science, Lorentz's name has been immortalized in various honors and tributes, including the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences Lorentz Medal and the dedication of the 312-kilometer-wide Lorentz lunar crater. Scientist number 68 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From New Zealand, we have selected one exceptional scientist to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The only luminary on our list is Ernest Rutherford. Ernest Rutherford, renowned as an avid experimenter and brilliant theoretician, left an indelible mark on the fields of nuclear chemistry and atomic physics. Widely regarded as one of the greatest experimentalists in the Anglophone world, second only to Michael Faraday, Rutherford's scientific journey was shaped by mentors such as Alexander William Bickerton and Joseph John Thomson. Rutherford's groundbreaking experiments revolutionized our understanding of radioactivity and the structure of the atom. He was the first to conclusively demonstrate that radioactivity leads to the transmutation of elements, a pivotal discovery that laid the foundation for modern nuclear physics. Additionally, Rutherford introduced key concepts such as half-life to describe radioactive decay processes, and he coined terms like alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays to classify ionizing radiations. Among his most famous experiments are the gold foil experiments, conducted between 1908 and 1913, which led to the development of the Rutherford model of the atom. This model challenged the prevailing plum pudding model proposed by his mentor, Joseph John Thomson, by revealing the existence of a dense atomic nucleus surrounded by orbiting electrons. Although sometimes referred to as the Geiger-Marsden experiment after his collaborators, Hans Geiger and Ernest Marsden, it was under Rutherford's direction that these experiments were conducted and interpreted. Rutherford's influence extended beyond his own research, as he supervised and mentored a generation of future scientific luminaries. His students included Niels Bohr, Otto Hahn, John Cockcroft, and Ernest Walton, all of whom made significant contributions to 20th century science. In recognition of his monumental contributions, numerous honors and tributes bear Rutherford's name, 
including the 13-kilometer-wide Rutherford lunar crater and the synthetic element Rutherfordium. His legacy continues to inspire scientists worldwide, shaping our understanding of the fundamental building blocks of the universe. Scientist number 69 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Persia, we have selected two exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary on our list is Abu Bakr Muhammad ibn Zakariya al-Razi. Abu Bakr al-Razi, known to medieval Europeans as Razes, stands as a towering polymath and one of the most revered scientists of the Islamic Golden Age. Before dedicating himself to research and education, he practiced as a general practitioner in Persia and Arabia. However, his diverse interests led him beyond healthcare to explore an array of sciences and arts. Al-Razi's thirst for knowledge and dedication to research knew no bounds. His extensive investigations, often conducted in isolation, resulted in a remarkable body of work comprising nearly 250 publications. Among these, works such as Al-Mansuri and Al-Judari wa Al-Hazba were later translated into Latin, contributing to the improvement of European universities' curricula. An adept both in theoretical analysis and experimental exploration, Al-Razi fearlessly ventured into uncharted territories, pioneering discoveries in fields ranging from medicine and surgery to pharmacy, chemistry, astronomy, mathematics, ethics, logic, philosophy, religion, and literature. His contributions to medicine were particularly profound, as he made groundbreaking advancements in understanding communicable diseases, pediatrics, obstetrics, gynecology, and ophthalmology. Al-Razi's clinical acumen led to several significant breakthroughs, including his pioneering descriptions of physiological processes such as the adaptation of the pupil to varying light intensities. Moreover, he was the first to outline the pathological pathways of diseases such as measles, chickenpox, and smallpox, laying the groundwork for their subsequent study and treatment. Additionally, he recognized the importance of dietetics in therapeutics, pioneering an integrated approach to patient care. Despite his remarkable achievements in medicine, Al-Razi's proficiency extended across various other fields, earning him recognition as the eponym of numerous items, from simple monuments to advanced research institutes. His legacy endures as a testament to the power of intellect, curiosity, and perseverance in advancing human knowledge and well-being. Scientist number 70 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from Persia on our list is Omar al-Khayyam. Omar al-Khayyam, influenced by the works of Avicenna and Alhazen ibn al-Haytham, rose to prominence early in life, establishing himself as one of the most remarkable scholars of the Middle Ages. His intellectual pursuits spanned philosophy, literature, astronomy, geometry, and algebra, leaving an indelible mark on each field. One of al-Khayyam's most celebrated achievements was his groundbreaking work on algebra, particularly his solutions to cubic and exponential equations, which were documented in his influential treatise, The Treatise on Demonstration of Problems of Algebra. His innovative solutions to these mathematical problems, especially his geometric approach to solving cubic equations, earned him recognition as a pioneer in the field. In addition to his contributions to algebra, Al-Khayyam made significant advancements in geometry, particularly through his critiques of Euclid's definitions in his work titled, On the Difficulties of Euclid's Definitions. His revisions laid the groundwork for the development of non-Euclidean geometry, a concept that would later revolutionize the field of mathematics. Al-Khayyam's contributions to astronomy were equally profound. While working in the observatory sponsored by Sultan Malik Shah I, his team achieved fame for their accurate measurement of a year, determining it to have 365.2424 days. This calculation formed the basis of the contemporary Persian calendar, highlighting the enduring impact of his astronomical research. Furthermore, Al-Khayyam's insightful analyses of Archimedes' works and his elegant simplifications of the binomial theorem demonstrated his exceptional intellect and mathematical prowess. Although Al-Khayyam is perhaps best known today for his poetry, his scientific contributions remain highly regarded. Monuments such as the Omar Khayyam Lunar Crater and the Omar Khayyam Planetoid serve as enduring tributes to his memory, commemorating his legacy as a scholar whose intellect transcended disciplinary boundaries and left an indelible mark on the world of science and literature. Scientist number 71 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Poland, we have selected two exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. 
The first luminary on our list is Nicolaus Copernicus. Nicolaus Copernicus, a Catholic canon and physician of Polish origin, emerged as one of the most influential mathematicians of the Renaissance era. Drawing inspiration from the works of Alhazen ibn al-Haytham and Nasir al-Din al-Tusi, Copernicus revolutionized astronomy with his heliocentric model of the solar system. As the foremost European astronomer of his time, Copernicus boldly proposed the Sun as the center of the solar system, with all other planets orbiting around it, an idea that directly challenged the long-standing geocentric model advocated by Claudius Ptolemy. His seminal work, The Revolutions of the Celestial Spheres, published posthumously in 1543 and dedicated to Pope Paul III, remains a landmark in the history of science, ushering in a new era of understanding of celestial mechanics. Copernicus's heliocentric theory laid the foundation for subsequent astronomical advancements and inspired generations of scientists, including Tycho Brahe, Galileo Galilei, Johannes Kepler, and Isaac Newton. His intellect transcended disciplinary boundaries, with contributions extending to literature, commerce, jurisprudence, medicine, theology, philosophy, ethics, administration, and mathematics. Despite his reputation as a bold and daring scientist, Copernicus was also characterized by his exceptional brilliance and meticulousness. His profound analyses and conclusions reflected the agility of his mind, earning him comparisons to renowned thinkers such as Aristarchus of Samos and Johannes Kepler. To honor his legacy, numerous concepts and memorials have been dedicated to Copernicus, including the Copernicus Lunar Crater, the Copernicus Martian Crater, and the Copernicus Asteroid. These serve as enduring tributes to his intellect and enduring contributions to the advancement of human knowledge. Scientist number 72 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from Poland on our list is Marie Sklodowska Curie. Marie Sklodowska Curie, often overshadowed in historical narratives due to her gender in a male-dominated era, stands as one of the most remarkable and prolific scientists in history. Despite facing significant gender barriers at a time when women lacked basic rights such as voting in Europe and the USA, Curie's contributions to science surpassed many of her male counterparts. As the first female Nobel laureate, Curie holds the distinction of being the only person to win Nobel Prizes in two different branches of science, physics and chemistry. Her groundbreaking research on radioactivity led to the discovery of two new elements, polonium and radium, and laid the groundwork for the field of radioactive chemistry which significantly advanced atomic physics and nuclear technologies. Following the tragic deaths of her husband, Pierre Curie, in 1906, and their mentor, Henri Becquerel, in 1908, Marie Curie continued their pioneering work and made substantial contributions to the practical applications of X-rays, originally discovered by Wilhelm Röntgen. Even during the First World War, Curie's dedication to science remained unwavering, as she volunteered to serve the French military as an X-ray radiographer, putting her research on hold to contribute to the war effort. Despite facing numerous challenges, from subtle parodies to entrenched gender discrimination, Curie's resourcefulness, resilience, and unparalleled dedication to science earned her widespread recognition and accolades. Her legacy extends far beyond her scientific achievements, serving as an inspiration to future generations of scientists, particularly women in STEM fields. Various items and tributes are dedicated to honoring Marie Sklodowska Curie's memory, reflecting her enduring impact and significance in the annals of science. Scientist number 73 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. From Russia, we have selected three exceptional scientists to be featured in our list of the top 100 scientists of all time. The first luminary on our list is Dmitry Mendeleev. Dmitry Mendeleev, hailed as one of the most influential scientists of the 19th century, revolutionized the field of chemistry with his groundbreaking work on the periodic table. In 1869, Mendeleev published his seminal work, which presented a comprehensive and systematic classification of the elements known at the time. His periodic table not only organized the elements based on their atomic weights but also revealed remarkable periodic trends and relationships among them. Mendeleev's genius lay in his ability to predict the properties of undiscovered elements and foresee gaps in the periodic table where these elements should exist. This predictive power proved invaluable in advancing our understanding of the fundamental nature of matter and guiding future scientific research. The impact of Mendeleev's periodic table extended far beyond the realm of chemistry, influencing developments in physics and other scientific disciplines. 
His work provided a framework for understanding the characteristics, behaviors, and properties of elements, compounds, and mixtures, laying the foundation for modern chemistry as we know it today. Collaborating with fellow scientists such as Lothar Meyer and Robert Bunsen, Mendeleev continued to refine and improve the periodic table, ensuring its accuracy and applicability in various scientific fields. In addition to his contributions to chemistry, Mendeleev made significant but often overlooked contributions to geology, meteorology, and hydrodynamics. Mendeleev's legacy extends beyond his scientific achievements. He played a pivotal role in introducing the metric system of measurements in the Russian Empire and was instrumental in establishing the Russian Chemical Society. His dedication to advancing scientific knowledge and promoting collaboration among scientists has left an indelible mark on the scientific community. To honor his contributions, the transuranic element Mendelevium and the Mendeleev lunar crater, spanning 313 kilometers in diameter, serve as enduring tributes to Dmitry Mendeleev's enduring legacy and profound impact on the world of science. Scientist number 74 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The second luminary from Russia on our list is Andrei Kolmogorov. Andrei Kolmogorov stands as a towering figure in the fields of mathematics, physics, and computer science, renowned for his groundbreaking contributions across a spectrum of disciplines. Remarkably, Kolmogorov's journey into the world of academia began at the tender age of 19 when he demonstrated exceptional prowess in set theory and garnered acclaim for constructing a Fourier series that diverged almost everywhere. Seeking to expand his horizons, Kolmogorov ventured to Germany, where he engaged with luminaries such as Richard Current, Hermann Weyl, and Edmund Landau. These encounters proved instrumental in shaping his understanding of limit theorems, intuitionistic logic, and function theory, laying the groundwork for his future achievements. Kolmogorov's seminal treatise, about the analytical methods of probability theory, written in German rather than his native Russian, marked a significant milestone in the development of probability theory. This was followed by his magnum opus, The Foundations of the Theory of Probability, which solidified his reputation as a leading authority in the field. Beyond probability theory, Kolmogorov made substantial contributions to computational complexity, fluid dynamics, algorithmic information theory, and topology. His research on turbulence and stochastic processes proved invaluable during the Cold War era, aiding the Soviets in various endeavors. Notably, Kolmogorov independently developed the Chapman-Kolmogorov equations, crucial for modeling stochastic processes, and contributed to statistical mechanics with his discovery of the Fokker-Planck equation, later known as the Kolmogorov forward equation. Kolmogorov's pioneering work on Kolmogorov complexity has had far-reaching implications, particularly in establishing the boundaries of computability and proving fundamental impossibility results in mathematics and computer science. Throughout his illustrious career, Kolmogorov played a pivotal role in nurturing the talents of many scientists in the Soviet republics, leaving an indelible mark on the academic landscape. In recognition of his monumental contributions, numerous concepts, parameters, and theorems in mathematics, engineering, physics, and computing bear his name, a testament to his enduring legacy and profound impact on science and academia. Scientist number 75 on the list of the top 100 scientists in the history of humankind. The third luminary from Russia on our list is Sergei Pavlovich Korolyov. Sergei Korolyov emerged as a beacon of innovation and leadership for the Soviet Union during the formative years of the Cold War. Despite operating under significant constraints compared to their Western counterparts, Korolyov's ingenuity propelled the Soviet space program to unprecedented heights. One of his crowning achievements was the successful launch of the world's first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, in 1957. This landmark event not only showcased the Soviet Union's technological prowess but also marked the beginning of the space age. Prior to this, Korolyov had overseen the development of the world's first intercontinental ballistic missile, the R-7 Semyorka, in 1953, further cementing his reputation as a visionary engineer. Korolyov's contributions were so pivotal that his true identity remained a closely guarded secret throughout his life, underscoring the perceived threat of assassination by Western adversaries. His leadership culminated in the historic flight of Yuri Gagarin aboard the Vostok 1 spacecraft in 1961, making him the first human to journey into space. This achievement solidified Korolyov's status as the father of astronautics among both his Ukrainian and Russian compatriots. Throughout the Cold War, Korolyov's remarkable team continued to push the boundaries of space exploration, 
ensuring that the Soviet Union maintained a significant lead in the space race. While the United States had the formidable Werner von Braun, Korolev's strategic vision and adept leadership played a crucial role in securing Soviet dominance in space exploration. Despite his untimely death in 1966, Korolev's legacy lives on, immortalized by the 437-kilometer-wide lunar crater that bears his name. His indomitable spirit, resourcefulness, and unwavering commitment to pushing the boundaries of human achievement continue to inspire generations of scientists and engineers around the world. Have you heard of the Bad Blood Study on African Americans, the Radium Girl's Tale, or the Superhumans Built by Chinese Scientists in Labs? We've compiled the top 5 mind-blowing scientific blunders for you. Please watch it on our homepage.